Hi guys, I'm Janelle and welcome to another Logic Pro Tips and Tricks. In today's video, we will learn how to open GarageBand projects in Logic Pro. One of the things that I like about having an iPad or an iPhone is that I can create when I'm on the go. I can open GarageBand, I can lay down some ideas or even full tracks and then go back to my studio and finish those tracks. I like to save everything to iCloud so I can have access to my files through all my devices. So let's find the track we want to open in Logic. Let's control click or right click on the file and open with Logic. Once this window opens, you can save the project in any location you want. You can rename it. And I like to organize my project as a folder. I do this with all my projects. So that way you're not missing audio files or any instruments in your session folder. And we will go ahead and select all these options. We want to include audio files, sampler data, any Apple loops you might have used. Um, if there was a movie, you want to include that as well. And then click Save. As you can see, Logic opens up with all the tracks, all the regions, all the instruments, any panning or processing you might have done, any automation you did in your project, and your two aux tracks that GarageBand always has. And then from here, you can start working on your project. And that's the quick tip I have for you today. If you're always looking for tips and tricks in Logic Pro, please subscribe and click on that bell so you don't miss any content.